Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today, I have Tesman in the lab. Do you know Tesman? So I wanted to bring it out. I've got this multimeter, this little pan, one of those little electric, you know, non-contact voltage detectors, and uh, this new wire stripper. So yeah, this was one of those automatic wire strippers. I want to show you this, but I'm going to show you these two things as well. What I found with Tesman, I mean, these guys are fairly new to me and they make just very low cost, reasonably cost items, um, very rugged. So like everything they make is solid. Uh, it, it, the price you'd think, oh, I'm gonna get some flimsy or something, but when I saw this meter here, it was like, man, it was like one of those miniature yellow meters. <laughs> I mean, it's just made really rugged. So um, yeah like kind of like the x tech meter back here but you know the the little rubber thing that it fits into is more like the yellow meters like the old yellow meters but anyway let me show you this stuff up close okay all right guys i just want to show you this stuff up close let me just first open up this meter well here i'll show you the box okay it looks like it comes in red and blue as well there's some of the highlights there, non-contact voltage. I mean, for such an inexpensive meter, this thing does quite a bit. Plus, it comes with a little case. So, you know, if you've got a friend that just needs a meter once in a while, an automatic meter, something that they don't need to know a lot. Look, it's got a little pocket inside to keep the leads in. They're kind of smaller leads, which you'd expect with a small meter like this. But they're pretty flexible, though. Uh, pretty nice feel to them, actually. And the manual is actually pretty thick. So like you said, for a beginner, they might like to have a hard manual that actually fits in the case, I think. I'm not sure. If, yeah, I think it will. But anyway, there's the meter. Okay, so let's stick. Oh, you know what? I took the batteries out. So there were batteries in here. So let me stick the batteries in this thing, turn it on. Let's see what it looks like. But let's open up this guy too. And I've looked at this thing before. Again, nice manual. There's the highlights of the device. And here's our manual. This one, in this case, is just one of those big fold out things. Okay. But I mean, this is a pretty simple tool, right? So there we go. Oh, look, I already got the batteries in this one. So it says, 12 volts to 1 kV. I think that's what it says. AC and if I push, oh, it just turns, oh, okay, you gotta hold it, turn it on. Then you saw the light kind of blink when it turned on. And it does have this little backlight in here. Wonder how long that stays on. Uh, maybe it's because I pushed this, I don't know. Okay. If I hold it down, does it turn on? Yeah, if I hold it down, it turns on the flashlight. So that's what the flashlight looks like. And, okay, this goes from 70 volts to 1 kV to 12 volts to 1 kV. So I guess if you have a lower voltage that you're trying to detect, it'll do that as well as a higher voltage. Here, let's bring over a power cord. Yeah, it turns red. It says 14% or something like that. 48%. I mean, it depends on which one I put in. If I put in the neutro, nothing. That's interesting. The ground, it does something. And actually, that's the line right there. So I wonder if that's because there's no voltage or whatever, but it still detects neutro and ground, which is interesting. Huh, that's pretty wild. If I go to the other setting, does it still detect it? Nope. So if I go to the 70 volts to 1 kV, so it's just detecting like a ghost voltage at this lower level. 52%, so maybe like 6 volts. So, huh, there we go. Okay, so that's pretty nice. It has a little place for you to put the batteries in here. It's all hard plastic. Okay, so that's what that looks like in the little pocket 
thing. So if you want to stick in your pocket, but yeah, so, you know, not bad for such low cost items. Let's look at the, God, look at the user manual on the wire stripper. Holy cow. Different languages, of course. And then the wire stripper. So here we go. Okay, wire cutter up here, the blade. And then this is the insulation crimper, the uh, red, blue, yellow. So, you know, the ones that have the colored insulation, you put them in there and crimp it there. And the ones down here are the uninsulated. So I think it's 12 to 10 gauge or four to six millimeters, 16 to 14 uh, gauge or 15 to two, was that 1.5 to 2.5? and 22 to 16 gauge or 0.5 to one millimeter. So those different sizes. And then you have this little guide right here and you push this button and it'll pop it out. So if you put the wire in here, I guess I grab a wire and show you. If you put a wire in here, it'll let you adjust how much you're gonna cut off and strip, okay? So if you wanna push that in a little bit and say, oh, I wanna right there, that, that's about right. So it just measures it for you and these teeth come down grab the insulation and pull the wire and the cutters just go just deep enough to pop it and looks professional every time and doesn't nick the wires as far as i can tell and it does have a little tension thing here so i think that's the tension to just how much you want to grip the wire but yeah pretty cool automatic wire strippers and then check this out this is a very unusual thing hold this down there's a battery under here, a coin cell, but check it out, watch it. If you put a wire, so it's supposed to be over on this end. Now, again, there's no current flow in this wire, so maybe that's why these detectors don't like it. But if, I find if I put it right over where the LED is, it's very sensitive there. But the detector is supposed to be up in, up in this end. So I need to get something with some current flowing so I can check that out. Here, I'll show you the coin cell back here. I just pushed it and turned it off and then just slide open. There's a coin cell here. Looks like another one right here. So there's a little plastic sleeve that was, yeah, it looks like two batteries. So there's a little plastic sleeve that I had to pull out to, to allow the batteries to make contact. That way it doesn't die while it's sitting in the storage or waiting on the shelf for someone to buy it. Hey guys, guys, I just want to say that Tenma did give these things to me for free, you know. They don't pay me anything to do the videos, tell me what to say, or anything like that. <laughs> Something's beeping at me. But yeah, they did give this stuff to me for free. Just want to full disclosure, uh, using the links, support your channel. But yeah, just want to show you guys some inexpensive tools. All right, went to put batteries in it, and it already had them in there. <laughs> That's where they were. So it's an automatic voltage sensor. It's got the continuity, ohms, DC voltage, and AC voltage. So no current, so it's safe that way. You're not going to blow it up by, you know. So if you give someone that doesn't really know how to measure things, and they put it in current mode, and they forget, you know. So it has a non-contact voltage, and it has a hold function, too. So... Guess you have to be reading something for the hold to work. And then if you hold this down, oh, it turns on a flashlight. So this has flashlight as well. Okay. And then if I just touch it, it just turns on the backlight. And you can see the backlight looks pretty nice. It's a pretty nice little display for such a small meter. It has a little protector on there. I think I'll keep it on there. It says non contact voltage sensing area up here. Let's see how that one works. I wonder if that works on automatic. No, I, you probably have to hold it. There we go. And see. Oh, yeah. Boy, this one's really sensitive. Yeah. So, boy, this, this guy is super sensitive. And there's that nice rubberized holder. Look at that, man. But, yeah. Um, maybe... I don't know if I had some static electricity. I think if I rub it, it makes it go off. <laughs> so I had another meter one time that no matter what I did, it just set it off. But yeah, there you go. So that one works really, 
really sensitive. Makes me want to check this one out again. So now it seems like it's working on all three terminals. Huh. Oh, and if I put it sideways like that, look, it really goes off. So I noticed these, uh, you know, these sensors, it depends on how you lay the wire on them and that kind of thing, like how, how sensitive they are. But yeah, so there you go. Now you're never, you know, these are just a first check. You never take it as gospel, right? You want to check with the leads after, but it's a nice check, a quick check. All right, guys, it's Tenma land. So nice strippers, automatic strippers. Uh, the prices on these are really low. I think I want to say this is 10 bucks or less. Uh, I can't remember the price on all these things, 15 bucks or so, something like that. I'll put the links down below. I think there's coupon codes down there. And yeah, so use the coupon codes that supports the channel for free to you guys. And it, you know, it helps the channel. <laughs> so uh, give it a thumbs up, liking the video, that helps too. So um, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick review on some of this stuff i've got backed up on things and you know i haven't been putting out a lot of videos last couple of months and uh, oh yeah been having some issues so different things um yeah i had a well anyway okay so i just want to th say thanks for watching and we'll see you next time